How many children do you have, Miss Bussy? Two. How old are they? Twelve? Yeah. Twelve, and I have a nine-month-old. And who's the father of the nine-month-old? Uh, it's a friend of mine. Is that this gentleman? No. Who is this gentleman? This is my boyfriend. So your boyfriend is not the father of the nine-month-old? No, he is not. Did the boy always live with his mother? Yes, he did. Up till, up till recently, yes. Up until when? Up until uh, November is when she moved out of her house. You were living with your son in whose house? It was the, my friend that is the father of my nine-month-old and his now ex-wife. So you were living with a couple who were friends? Yes, I was friends with him. And then you moved in with he and his wife? Yes. And how long did you live there? I lived there, it was about a year and a half. And I assume you left there because you were pregnant? Uh, no, I, I left there because I started getting uh, threatening emails that were threatening my life. From his wife? We don't know who they were from. They were in anonymous emails. But you would assume they were from his wife? Yeah, I'd assume, but there's okay. been no so proof. You, so you moved out. Where did you go? Uh, I moved in with uh, my boyfriend. He was not her boyfriend Shh. at the time. I, if you're going to shout, you're going to leave. Do you understand? So you moved out of the house. Yes. And you moved in with the boyfriend. Yes. And, and his you, wife. Now you can put her out. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You moved in with your boyfriend. Correct. How far away did he live from where you had been living? Uh, quite a way as I moved from, it was uh, Council Bluffs, Iowa to like West, West Omaha. Your son is 12 years old. Yes. What did you do about his school? Uh, we still transported him to his school. Is what you're telling me you moved with your son to your boyfriend's house? Yes. And you took your son with you and transported him to and from school? Yes, that is correct. Is that correct? To the point, I have no idea. I mean, it was a, it was a 10, 10 day time and I wanted him to come live with me at the time and that seemed to be a last option. But I told her... Just a second. You're getting ahead of yourself because that's not what you wrote in your complaint. In your complaint, what you said was she left the boy alone. It, at least it was my impression that she left him at the house of this couple with whom she had been living. No, she... I'm sorry. She sent him to live with some other friends of hers that... Who? I can't seem to remember the names. Uh, Chelsea, one of her friends. Is that when she moved out of the house? Besides the little time that, that Austin did stay with her, yes. She was moving him around from my sister-in-law's, to me sometimes, to her friend Chelsea. Now, I... Why? Because I was getting these threatening emails that were threatening my life, and I was trying to protect my son from being around that. Okay, well, that's a very good idea. Then he should go and live with his father. Your, your Honor? Shh. 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 I'm sorry. Just I a sec. Now, this case is all about an overpayment of child support. He came to live with his father on what date? It was November the 18th. And is he still there? Yes, he is still there. And did you receive any child support from Mr. McGlynn after November 18th? Yes, I did. How much? I received it week weekly from the, the, that following week until now. Did you finally stop the order? I did. It took some time, though. Um, How many weeks did you pay when your son was with you? At least 10. December, January, that's eight. Two weeks in November, that's 10. Okay, that's at least 10 weeks. Yes. Why do you think you're entitled to that money? You were never married, right? No, we were not. Okay, so this is just child support that he pays. That is correct. Well, why do you think you're entitled to this money? The whole reason he ended that he went with his father was I was getting these threatening I heard about the threatening emails. emails. Well, then that's a very good idea because if you were living with a couple that were friends of yours and you got pregnant by the husband and had to move out, I would say that you should do everything <laughs> possible to protect your 12-year-old, and then moving out and evidently had a boyfriend at the same time, now you're with the boyfriend, doesn't sound very stable to me. We're only talking about why you think you're entitled to $75 a week child support when the child was living with his father. Well, he had time to get it shut off, and it wasn't until just recently that he went ahead and did that. The government works very, very slowly. Look at Congress. And the lower you get, the slower they work. So if you say, boys with me, could you stop the payments? Sure. 
eventually they get stuck because it comes right out of your check, I assume. It comes right out of my check every $750. Week. Judgment for the plaintiff.